Hi there, welcome back. This is uh, the second episode of my question of the day. Um, so this one comes from a comment on one of my previous videos, which I completely forgot to apply to, so I'm really sorry about that. So they're asking, um, hi, can you please make a video on how to multi-app properly and legally, please? I know that you can go offline on other apps, but how do you do this when you're on Just Eat Shifts when you can only pause for 30 minutes? Well, the first thing I would say is that on Just Eat, I believe that you can pause for as long as you can. As long as you want, sorry. Um, so I quite often will book a Just Eat shift and I'm not able to maybe do the first hour or even hour and a half. Um, so what I'll do is I'll make sure that I can go online at the right time, pause it, and um, so yeah. You can pause the Just Eat shift for as long as you like, as far as I'm aware. It might be different in different zones, I'm not sure, but um, I'm always able to pause it for as long as I need. Um, but multi-apping, um, for anybody who's just kind of stumbled across this and doesn't know what it is, it's basically working on two different, or three different, or four different even apps at the same time. I always have four different apps running at any particular time. Uh, what I used to do was, as this person's alluded to, going offline any time that I had an order. At the moment, it's so quiet, I don't bother going offline, to be honest, when, when I pick up an order. Um, quite often, if an order comes through, which is close to my drop-off location on a different app, I will generally accept it. Um, because at the moment, I need to know that I've got my next job booked in in advance. I think that's absolutely fine. Um, I don't tend to multi-app at all when it comes to picking up two orders from two different platforms at the same time uh, because I think there's too much that can go wrong. Uh, the platforms themselves are very quiet when it comes to multi-apping. Um, I think legally they can't really say too much about it. However, what they do say is that you need to make sure that the, the order is delivered in, uh, in a timely manner so you can't do what I've seen a lot of people doing. Uh, which is like picking up five and six orders at the same time and delivering them in whatever order, which is just crazy. At the end of the day, you've got to remember that you are picking up for somebody that spent a lot of money sometimes on shopping or even at worst, hot food. Um, I've had it before where I've ordered as a customer and you can see on the map they're going here, there and everywhere before they get to you and then you get your food. It's about an hour late and it's freezing cold. What do you think that person's going to do? They're never going to order again. And um, you're not likely to get an order from them again. And not only are you not likely to get an order from them, the other drivers in your area are also going to lose out on future orders. Um, so advice that I would give you on multi-apping, obviously I can't give you any advice that you, that you can hold me to account for, but I would say <clears throat> if you wanted to keep your apps open, that's absolutely fine. Uh, pause Just Eat as much as you like. Um, I think it's absolutely fine to arrange your next job. So if you know that uh, you're dropping off and um, like straight after that you can get to KFC without having to make any massive detours then take a KFC job off a different app. I think that's absolutely fine. So yeah, that's multi-apping.